you saw in that cool intro, that's what you'll be learning today, so let's get into it. What's going on guys, my name is Jerry Huggins, and today you're going to be learning that really cool card flip move that you just saw in the intro. Hope you enjoyed that by the way. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for the 75 subscribers that I got. We reached our goal before the month is even done. So, a new goal to move forward. Can we get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month? Now that's a little crazy because we got like 15 days left and everything, but it's a goal nonetheless we can try and reach it. I would really appreciate it if you liked and shared and subscribed if you're new here. Do all that stuff so that we can grow this channel to 100 subscribers. Also, one more thing before we get into the tutorial, those cardistry trainers that I talked about in the previous videos, I will be teaching how to make them next week is my plan. If I don't do it by next week, I promise you, there will be a tutorial of how to make them super soon. And I'm gonna stop talking now and we can get right in to the card flip shop tutorial. Okay, for this tutorial I'll be using my very worn and torn Cherry Casino green cards. Green cards. Green edition. If you guys want to check these cards out, I really like them and use them a lot. Link in description if you guys want to check these cards out. Okay, now the tutorial, the trick looks like this. Except maybe a little better, but yeah. Okay. So if you know how to do a one-handed cut, this should be relatively easy, but you don't need to know how to do a one-hand cut to do this. If you'd like to learn that, link in description for a tutorial of that and this. Okay, so what you wanna do is put the deck in what people call a straddle okay? So you wanna break off part of a packet, and you don't wanna just do this like you're gonna do a one-hand cut if you know how. You want to kind of like twist it a bit with your thumb and your middle finger. Not much, just a little bit. Okay? You want to transition from the middle finger to the ring so that your middle finger can pull out this bottom card of this top packet. Okay? Once you pull it out, you're going to take your index and your middle to rotate it so that it's facing this way and the deck is facing this way. And then to shoot it out, you just apply pressure with your middle finger. It's hard to do in slow motion, but like that. Okay, once again, break apart, rotate, transition, tilt out, apply the pressure, and it should shoot out like that. Now a cool way, here, just let me shoot a card. Now a cool way to um, put this back is to when you catch it, go into like a dealer's grip and then go into a straddle grip, put your index finger behind here and flick it. Kind of like that move that I taught, except just with one card, okay? Ooh. Once again, break off the pack, push it up, it's two cards. Push it up. Push over. Flick. And there you go. Pretty cool move. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And that is it for the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, let me know by dropping a comment of what you enjoyed about it. Or if you've seen this move before or learned it. And also leave a like because I always enjoy those. And if you're new here, be sure to press that big red subscribe button and hit the bell while you're at it. Because this Monday, I'll be teaching you a super cool trick with a deck of cards and a rubber band. Now I gotta pick all those up. So be sure to hit the bell so you get notified when that video comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching this again, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.